Yo, 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 it's Timmy Lee Glean coming at you with um another one of these videos where I just kind of sit in my car. I like this kind of thing to just sit in my car and talk. And it's funny because um, I feel like I have so many dynamics of just videos that I kind of like release and just do and just I haven't got a couple on my phone right now, a couple that uh, got recorded that's sitting in a cut and even I just recorded something earlier, so I, I shot something at an event, and then um, after the event, I was on my way out of the park. Um, I was on my way out of the park, and I thought, like, let me record this video. I feel like it was the unction of the Holy Spirit to made me sit down and record this video. Now, of course, when I record some of my videos, some of them are planned and some of them are spontaneous. I've never like been out with my camera and just set up just randomly somewhere on the bench and just record it. But this is my first time actually doing that. And I've been wanting to do that, but just been desiring to have an inspiration or a spark to do it. And I had it, I was just moved to do it. And I, I know I had moments before where I was moved to do something I didn't, even right now. I've moved to just sit in my car. I'm outside the tops right now before going home. Um, okay, I've just been in this record mode and just this speaking mode. But I just kind of just want to just touch up on something that kind of is in alignment with um, the video that I just recorded earlier. And, you know, it was a really good sermon today. And then it just helped me to really look and reflect on myself and like, what type of light and witness am I being, you know, for the gospel? Sometimes we we think it's just going out and just preaching, 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 you know, and just nah, 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 nah. And, and I believe that's a big part of it because people have to hear or well, people have to see as well. So meaning if they don't see the fruit of your life, like if people can't even walk up to you, <laughs> you know, it's just like what, what kind of witness are you? People can't even walk to you. And, and, it, and it made me like look at myself a bit more differently today. Like, I know it's the light of the most high in me. I just walked into that tops. I had a bunch of people just look at me and just, just, it was very, it was like something that was welcoming about me. And I know it's the most high in me where people actually said hi to me and they looked at me. They seen like some light in me and it has to be, it has to be some sort of light. It has to be something shining inside of me. And as I was talking in that video, I felt like something was coming upon me. So as I'm driving the car, I'm just driving, do, 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 do. And, you know, I get the tops and just, I'm just regular tops, but I don't know. I do feel like I'm on fire. I don't feel like the best physically, you know, as far as like exhaustion and being tired. But man, I'm, I'm fired up, man. And, and I'm excited for what God has to come. A lot in the video what I was talking about is just like there's coming judgment. This land will be judged. Uh, the world will be judged. This earth will be judged. There's been wickedness that's been going on. And what are we doing to ensure that we are light and witness to the most high God in Christ Jesus? We got to bear fruit. You know, sometimes we think it's about what we're doing because some people can do a lot of stuff for God, but their heart ain't right. You know, some people can do stuff for the most high God, but they nasty and mean. Nasty. You know, and I was just thinking, like, as I was out there, I don't want to, like, judge anybody, but I don't know. It looked like somebody that was coming from church might have been having a bad day. But because I'm the person I am, I'm just going to just smile and say hi. You know, and some people have a bad day. It don't matter if you have a bad day or not, honestly. I, I, I realize if you want to be a light and a witness and really be somebody that can have a testimony that can really give the most high glory, even in the midst of your stuff, that you look like you ain't going through nothing. That's the biggest thing. Like, that's why a lot of people wouldn't agree with my thoughts when I say like I'm okay even if I'm not okay. That doesn't mean that I'm not okay, but that means that I'm okay. Because I have the most high with me. I believe that the spirit of God is literally permeating through my physical body. Like right now, I believe that his spirit is shining through me and outwardly. And people are literally walking past and seeing it. People can see. I, I, I just felt it today. And it ain't me. It ain't me at all. And 
I just know it's the most high. Just how people were drawn to just say something to me. Say hi to me. Just say, like, you know, and how... And I realized it's my countenance. I'm already, like, a soft-spoken and, and just... I'm already kind. I have kind eyes, I guess. I, I heard I have kind eyes. Um, and I don't know. I've, I've pretty much been like this. I never walked around with, like, a, like a stank face or... I'm walking around mad and just, I don't know, it's just, it's me. I just, when I'm walking through, I'm literally just like, like this is, this is, this is probably my face walking through tops. And then when I see somebody, and then, because it's like the joy of God is like, it just gives me the little smirk. I don't, I don't know, and it ain't like me, like just, just trying to force a smile you ever see people when you say hi to them? They... <laughs> no, it's literally just natural to just. This is my natural face right here. Like people, people have a resting face, and they call it a, a resting female dog face. Um, like a lot of women would describe it. And that that just be their face. My natural face is this. So when you see that, and you're going out, and he's my nicely dressed face like this and not to brag about my looks i mean just uh the countenance it's the countenance of the lord and i feel like that's what made my children obedient where when i'm in the spirit i have this i'm like this but when it's time for like no you need to hear this now it's like it's stern and it's straightforward and it's but it's not like forceful, it's not angry, it's not full of hatred, it's not anything that will stir anybody to wrath and bitterness. But that's one thing about the spirit of the most high, like being a witness to our children, being a witness to our brothers and sisters in Christ, being a witness to others that are out there. Like I said, that may believe so they are brothers and sisters in Christ, what I believe, others that are not truly walking in the word and not walking in the ways of the father or maybe lukewarm and maybe... You know, on the on the broad road, you know, and and and, and there's so many people that believe that are on their way to hell, just as much as the as, as people out here. It's just like, what kind of witness are we to each other? Because we're gonna keep on playing denominationalism. We gonna keep on playing this and that. And I don't and I don't mean like, see, and that's the thing. Like people will accuse like you of hate. People will accuse you of being a legalist. People will accuse you of so many different things because you believe in the standard of the scriptures. Because you believe that we should be living by the word of God. And we should be following after Christ. We, that, 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 that. If we are of a kingdom not built with hands, that means we abide by the laws of that kingdom. It's not built by hands, which is the spiritual kingdom. If we have the spirit in us, we should be operating in the things of God, the things of the most high. And we are too drawn to our flesh. We're too drawn to just the things of this life, the things of this world. Many people have chosen mammon over the most high. And, and, and that's the issue in itself. So when we look at our witness and how our witness is to other Christians, we have to realize, like, no, we're not supposed to be hateful. We're not supposed to be nah, nah. we're not supposed to be nasty because some people are actually nastier to fellow Christians than they are to people in the world. And that's sad because we are commanded. We are commanded by the most high to love our neighbors. How much more is our neighbors is, are the ones that are in the same faith and the same life belief in Christ that he died and risen from. The, just, just like if we believe in that central thing, then we should be able to. There's other aspects of scripture that may be deb debatable, disputable matters. But when we look at scripture, we know what sends people to heaven. We know what sends people to hell. We know clearly. So when we're being a light and a witness out there in the world, we don't judge people off the basis of God's laws. But we just we bring them into the faith and you slowly entreat them as Gentiles and you bring them into the faith. But if you already in the faith, I ain't going to treat you like you don't know the word. And if you don't know the word, you're going to know the word. And I'm going to treat you like you know the word. I'm going to treat you and just like I'm reminding you. Cause like, and, and that's the thing, because I want that. If I'm off and I had some people and I'm glad, I think, I think the most high. Because when I was off, they brought about the word. Bam. Some people say, I don't want to. Like people think like, talking because i get how people can get offended so somebody be like yo i don't want to offend you or nothing i don't want no offend me <laughs> i don't have the spirit of offense if i hear something and, and and i'm doing it 
it's the word and I'm wrong or I'm in transgression or I am not in alignment with God's will and somebody bring forth the word to me. Thank you. That's a part of being a light too. We got to live by the word, breathe that word and be that word. <laughs> that, that's got to be our life. It's sometimes I'm off. Thank the most high I have the shepherd I have that, that, that brings forth the word. I get counsel over. I get counsel over the pulpit. My a lot of my counsel comes over the pulpit. A lot of the things that the Most High is dealing with me is over the pulpit. It's literally over the pulpit. That is my counsel, and I can sit down and and and, and receive counsel and just receive, you know, just words of encouragement from other brothers and sisters. I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't do any wrong because. Uh, I live in a sin, sin stained flesh, the fallen nature that we have in us. And, you know, we could get into pride, pride and we could get into. And, and, and that's an issue as well. If we're going to be a light, we got to live, live in the light and walk in the light. It's, and the sun is shining right now. Let's do the sunroof or is that? Just, oh, no, that's just. Oh, the sun is like literally shining on me. <laughs> this thing, the sun is shining directly on me right now. Right? But we got to be a light. And we are to be a light to each other as well. And, and, and that light is exposing the light of Christ, exposing the word of the most high to each other. That is light right there. When we're living by the most high God, when we're living in the spirit, it's the light in us, the Christ that's in us that are, is helping us operate to love our brother and our sisters, to, to love the most high God with all of our heart, mind and strength, which is the first and great commandment. And, you know, all the prophets and, 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 and all the law, statutes and commandments hanging that alone is that we love. We are to operate in love. And one issue is that when we're bringing about the word and truth and, and love. And sometimes it could be stern. Sometimes it ain't going to always be like it ain't going to always be like, you know, <laughs> Oh, 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 a, a spin and twirl and just with our arms raised out and flowers and cotton candy and just fireworks behind us when we're bringing about the word. Sometimes it's going to cut and it's going to hurt. And people get offended. Like people get offended and they the ones in the wrong. That's somebody that's not truly in the light. When the word is being brought forth to you, when the truth is being brought forth to you, you have two choices. You can reject it. Or you can receive it with gladness, knowing that the Most High has used one of his servants, one of his people, one of his children, one of your brothers and sisters to admonish you, to bring about the word, to correct you. To And sometimes we be so prideful to think that it's the person, it's the God in that person that is ministering to us. And if we have the spirit and if they have the spirit, then the spirit ministers to the spirit. Because if we're one spirit and one mind, and that's what we are, we are to be a light and you know, and I didn't say anything in the beginning of this video to really even brag about anything because there's no good thing in this flesh. The goodness that I can do, the goodness that is in me, the light that's in me is the most high through Christ that's in me. My righteousness lies in what Christ has done. The life that Christ lived, that is the righteousness that's in me. Him fulfilling the law, statutes, and commandments. And that spirit dwelling in me helps me fulfill the law, statutes, and commandments by the spirit through Christ that have done it. And he's doing that completed work that he's completed in that body and this completion is being completed in me, completing me. You know, we could say, oh, I'm not perfect. None of us are perfect. But if we have that heart towards the most high to strive, then you are perfect as he is perfect. <laughs> you know, it's about your heart in this walk. You know, it, it, and ain't no sinless perfection, but it's like, what kind of heart do we have towards our creator? And that that's ultimately it, you know? So, what's a blessing? Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, phone about to die. But, um, I think I got enough off my chest. Like I said, I recorded a video um, just speaking about being a light to this earth in the times of darkness and the times where, you know, this society is going to crumble and are we going to watch it crumble and just let people be crushed and, and, and you know, inhale the debris? And, and, and no, we, we got to truly walk with the most high and be obedient to the unction of the Holy Spirit. Christ had told us we got to go out to the highways and the byways and preach the gospel. And I realized this is a bit deeper than just going, 
going out into the highways and byways physically, which is something that I'm very comfortable doing. I'm comfortable grabbing my, my, my loudspeaker, my microphone and going out. I could do it by myself with people or whatever. You know, I'm comfortable with doing that. Like, you know, but doing this right here is something that, you know, is it's taking a lot to really over these years, I've been practicing recording over these videos and really being a light on the, in the social world, you know, where there's so many gimmicks, there, 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 there's so many, like, so many of us post our great highlights in life and we don't, we don't go through the low lights. You know, I could tell you about, you know, myself being over 20,000, almost 30,000 in debt and having it all cleared. I can, I can tell you about just the, the struggles of being a single father, of three children, which I have sole custody of, which I homeschool. You know, and I have to work, you know, so and this is three different human lives, you know, just and just those struggles and those battles that I had. And I can tell you the struggles of being a business owner of two businesses and losing out on about a thousand dollars just because of misprinted T-shirts that I had to just give away. You know, and just a lot of my mistakes and a lot of my falls and slip ups, just the sin that I was since being a Christian and just a lot of those sins that I had, I got delivered from last year. Thank I thank the most high. But. When I become a Christian, the sins got worse. I started sinning more when I became a Christian. When I started to walk with the Most High, I started to sin more. But it, the issues were highlighted more, and I got to. But it, it's it's so many things you can we can look at everything that I have in front of me. Like I'm sitting in my own car. This is a blessing, and you know me. I got my license at 31. On the same week I got my license, I was able to get this car. It's a blessing that I'm able to do that. This ain't me. This is the Most High. You look at my house, you know, and just like, and I ain't trying to tell my business. I'm just trying to just give you a little testimony on just working principles of seeking his kingdom and righteousness and striving towards a narrow path that leads to life. You're going to grow and things are going to happen outwardly because when you're seeking his kingdom and righteousness, all things will be added. And as the scripture says, um, he said, you will bear fruit. <laughs> and when, when he said, I am the vine, you know, and you are the branches. And then when we are the branches, we bear fruit. Whatever we ask for in the Father's name, I mean, whatever we ask for the Father for in Jesus' name will be given to us so that we can be those people that bear fruit in this world and, and be signs that show like, oh, when you're truly obedient to the most high God, he will bless you. It's a principle. It ain't just about no prosperity. Oh, God gonna bless you, but you're still fornicating. You're still, you're still smoking. You're still getting drunk. You're still, and I'm not saying God's grace and his sovereignty and his mercy isn't there. And he, he, he is graceful even when we're in our sins because he, he's worked that with me. But I'm saying when you're obedient, when you're when you're truly striving, when you're truly walking with him, when you're truly seeking him, you know, and it ain't about being perfect. It's just about having a perfect heart towards him, a, a good intention towards him and really striving. When you do that and obedient to the call of the most high, he going to bless you. Trust and believe that Look, we got to be a light to this earth and outwardly we're going to be used to to help others. It's like inwardly we're going to be used because what he's building us up for will help so many souls moving forward because where this world is going where this where this nation is going and what's about to happen we have to be a light and that's basically the message of my video so i don't want to say too much about that i'll be releasing that sometime soon but i'm gonna be releasing more of these videos even if i release one of these like a week just on on facebook alone just just the i got so much because the the, the word of god it, 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 it's so much to it it's so many avenues that you can go i could take one scripture and i can make like five sermons off of one scripture i could do that if i wanted to you know that that'll be like nah i'd rather move off the ruach and really just speak something off my heart you know it just not the deceitfully wicked heart that can mislead us but i mean this the, the essence of the heart it's the mind the soul the and, and, and the will that's aligned with the most high and things that are placed in my heart to be able to share with you you know and just be the light, man. Be the light. And as this sun is shining, I think it's very prophetic in itself. You know, we got to be a light in this earth. We got to be the salt to this earth. You know, but I hope you enjoy the video when I release it. You know, I post a link or something. I mean, I post the, the link on my page or whatnot. You can look out for it. Um, you can just go to my YouTube page and like subscribe to it. I'll I'll put a I'll put the link to my YouTube page on here just so you can go there, the website that I have, my website, timmylegaling.net. Excuse me, got my clothing brand on there. I just got these hats on there. Uh, this is like corduroy hats, pretty cool. Um, 
I need to be doing better with promoting this stuff. But ultimately, you know, I have a lot on my plate and just trusting in the most high and leading and guiding with of his spirit. But my biggest thing was getting the spiritual aspects of my life together and really just allowing God's spirit to just thrive inside of me to help change me from the inside out. So that when the outward things happen, that I don't get none of the glory for it, you know, but that the most high gets the glory for my clothing life and for fashion, that the most high gets the glory. You know, for how I present myself and dress well, you know, that's the most high gets the glory. I, and just how I present myself, just respectful, like right? somebody that's of honor and just integrity and just doing what I can. And it's not saying that I don't mess up and I don't slip, but the most high has been working on me, truly. I've been battling with some things. I've been battling with attacks from the mind and those attacks on my mind has physically weighed me down and made me physically weak. I was literally physically weak. If you know how I think, if you know me, then you know that I'm a super duper calculated person. I think people knew me like back when I was in my early 20s. I was like 20 years old, 21 years old. I planned out my whole music career all the way up to 50. I literally did that. So... If you want to talk about overthinking and overanalyzing and over planning, I was that person. So now being a single father of three children, where all these things and the most high have given me a vision for family and all this stuff. Now I'm trying to just figure out everything instead of allowing him to lead me into what he already has figured out. And that was my issue. But the more that I walk in that light, you know, is just the more that I can lean on him because ultimately the spirit moves me, pushes me, inspires me and encourages me. To, to lift him up above everything because if things happen and I'm not acknowledging him, I'm going to get the glory for it. I don't want no glory for anything that happens in my life from now on moving forward or even before. Like anything that happened in my life, anything that's happening right now in this moment while I'm talking to you, this is all of the most high God and his spirit, his Ruach. And anything that happens moving forward because fruit will, will be bared. You know, but I don't know what's going to happen moving forward. I'm not worried about riches of this, of this world and of this life. And I'm not worried about the things of this world, the cares of this world, this car, my, my house and everything's going to burn up at the end of the day. And what is all that if I put all my focus into that and not on the things of God? So that's why I'm here talking to you, doing what I can to be a light and a witness. And I would just hope that my bold example of me being brave, because this stuff I used to have anxiety over. But I said, I'm going to do it anyways. I remember back in 2019, I said, I'm just going to start recording videos and start talking. And I started making those couple videos about speaking about the true children of Israel and being an Israelite. I was nervous about that, making all those posts and stuff about all the, the perversions in this world and all the things that are against the most high God. I lost thousands and thousands of friends on here. I had people mistake me and misunderstand me for hatred, hating women, hating people, hating black people and all that stuff. So I've, I've been through a whole lot of persecution. I've been through a whole lot of hell. And if you my friend on here you've seen a lot of it you've seen a whole lot of it and you've seen the transformation you see that i don't post hatefully anymore because i was posting out of a bad place and it wasn't from a hateful place but from a hateful spirit i could be right coming from the wrong place and i was misunderstood and i was misunderstanding myself and my intentions but as the most high started to deal with me in those things as you can know as you've seen i stopped posting stuff that i used to post the way that i used to post that doesn't mean that i, I don't stand firm on what i was saying all these years this world is wicked, it's evil, women are out of order, these children are out of order because of the women, and women and children are out of order because men are effeminate and weak and docile and don't stand firm and bold. And I'm talking about Christians. So I, I stand firm and bold on all that. So don't ever think that because I don't talk about certain stuff anymore that I change. I change as far as in my heart and, in, and just like how I operate and how I speak and how I conduct myself and, you know, but... I stand firm on everything that I said, you know, and, and things I might have been wrong from the wrong spirit. But things that I said I wasn't wrong about. You could do your own research on everything that I've ever said over these last couple of years. And if you have, then you already know. Because I know some people already, I had one-on-one -on -one conversations with a couple people and they already said like, yo, like just some of the things that I say, you know, and, or some of my bold stance and things like that. I know that it touches people, encourages people, motivates people to shine the light of Christ out here. You, you, you got, you got to respect the God. That is the reason that I'm a mouthpiece for him. I'm used by him and him alone. So but my phone about to die. I don't want this to die on me. So, um, yeah, everything that I said is everything that I said. Once again, you know, visit www.timmylegaline.net. Um, just like all my music, videos, Bible studies, merch, um, and just if you desire to give, uh, you know, I want all the proceeds of anything that's given to me 
to go to some sort of ministry, form a ministry. I have my own ministry through film and music um, and even fashion and, you know, desiring to give to the house of worship that I'm at, you know. So just however what's placed on your heart to do in that aspect, but I'm never going to ask not ask for anything anymore as far as in that regards because I don't care about the giving aspect. As long as I could give, it's better to give than to receive. So if I can just give you myself in the form of you know, being used by the Most High God, you know, I'm a living sacrifice, laying down my life, you know, because a lot of stuff I'm speaking about that I've been speaking about, you know, it's this stuff is, man, it's social media persecution, being shadow banned and being flagged and and being uh, flagged for hate speech and things like that. Like a lot of that stuff is going to come. Persecution in the church is going to come a lot more. Just for living by the scriptures, we're going to be demonized. So when you just look at all these aspects and just seeing like what's coming after those that truly follow the word, that's truly walking after the spirit and not after the flesh. When you, when, when, when you see how the world reacts to it, when they call good evil and evil good, and it, it's 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 getting to that point, man. You just see the scriptures coming alive. The scriptures are literally jumping out right now, and we can see it plain, plain as day. And many of us will say, "Oh, that's a white man's religion. How is this white man religion coming true? And how is this a white man religion when a lot of those people in the book is people are people of color?" Regardless, once again, I, I mentioned in the last video, this ain't about no color, it ain't about anything, but just it's just about the truth at the end of the day. And like I said, do your own research on anything that I've said. Search the scriptures out yourself and come, and not to say come up with your own conclusions, but a lot of spirit to really just, just minister to you like it ministered to me, you know, and, and many things that I've been revealed. And there's been things I've been wrong about. And I know I've been wrong about it because the spirit revealed that I was wrong. Or the most high used somebody to say that I was wrong. And the one thing that I never was wrong about what the most high revealed to me is who I am. And nobody can tell me who I am. And I don't care what you say at this point. I'm not, I'm not too stubborn or too ignorant to not listen. I want to listen. I want to hear what anybody has to say. But my biggest thing is don't tell me who I am, you know, and, and, you know, my identity is first and foremost in Christ, you know, ultimately, you know, and, but, you know, as we were called to be the light of the earth, and it says the gospel, which is, it should be preached to the Jew first and then to the Gentile, you know, like, yes, I believe that I'm a Jew, and it's controversial in itself, just the topic is seeing it in the in the church, the Christian church, and seeing just the aspects of, because I consider myself an Israelite, you know, I've, I've been grouped in with the black Hebrew Israelite group in camp, and I spoke about them, you know, in, in that video. So I, I, I see a lot in that video, I'm wearing the same outfit, so when I post it, you'll be able to see it. I'm most likely gonna post this one today, you know, just to post it, but um, yeah, I gotta get going. I've been in this parking lot for a little while. What time is it? And my children will be home soon. So, um, you know, but may the most high bless you for real. Like, I, I trust and believe that the most high truly wants to do something wonderful in your life. He wants to use you. And I mean, you, 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 the most high wants to use you. Allow yourself to be used. He has a spirit. Yield to his spirit. Be obedient. Get into his word. And understand what his word says. Understand what he requires out of you. Requires, He requires an unspotted, unblemished, unwrinkled bride in the body of Christ are continually to be sanctified. Are, we're continually growing in, in righteousness and holiness. And some people just feel like holiness is impossible, so they just don't hold themselves to that standard or feel like, okay, well, I'm here, I believe, and I'm here, and that's it. Well, that's like, and I said in one of my, my, my real videos, my, my short videos, it's just like... For you to believe in Christ is like you standing at the door, but you never walk in the house. So you never get the benefits of what's in the house. You just standing at the door. Now, standing at the door don't necessarily mean that you're going to go to hell. The plane is safe and you're standing at the door. You're not going to build any treasures for yourself in the kingdom. And most likely you're going to be in the lowest level of heaven. And it won't be the kingdom. It won't be where the great city is. It won't be glorious, you know, but... You know, there's a possibility that even if you're standing at the door, you're standing at the door. You just won't be able to have the benefits of Christ. Christ says, right, like just like many mansions, his book of Revelation, it just says like 
just like that picture that it just you know i'm watching pilgrim's progress in streets of gold and just like many mansions and just the the treasures that we build up in the kingdom and being in the presence of the most high god we don't need the sun if because we're going to be in the light under the light of the most high you see that you know it's it, it, it's real out here it, it is so real it's so real. It's the, the most high is the realest thing ever. And we never seen him. Christ said, <laughs> blessed is he that had never seen but believed. Because when, when you, when you had, that's called faith. Faith is, is the belief and the trust and the hope and the things that we cannot see. We cannot physically see God, but we can see the God in people. I'm living proof of somebody that have seen the glory of God in people. And I hope you see the glory of God in me because that's, that's, that's who I give the glory to. You know, but I didn't try to make this no su Sunday sermon or nothing. I'm, I really just wanted to talk for like 10 minutes to turn to 30 minutes. I realized that I got to go. So um, I just pray that the most high bless you and Yeshua HaMashiach's name. And cool.